Imagine living in a world where your happiness isn't dependent on the affection you receive from others. Where longing glances, missed calls, and thinking of you messages don't define your emotional state. This isn't a tale from ancient history, but a reality you can live in today. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has withstood the test of time, teaches us exactly that. It empowers us to find inner peace and happiness, regardless of our external circumstances. But how does this relate to wanting someone to miss you? In the realm of love and relationships, we often crave attention and affection, believing that external validation is the key to our happiness. Yet, Stoicism introduces a counterintuitive approach. By focusing on self-improvement, fostering emotional independence, and appreciating the present moment without attachment, we inadvertently become more attractive and, ironically, more likely to be missed. In today's video, we dive deep into the Stoic way of living and loving. By embracing the principles of Stoicism, we can enrich our lives and transform our relationships in the most unexpected ways. Stay with me as we explore how to make them miss you, not by playing games or strategizing every move, but by becoming a beacon of self-sufficiency and contentment. Your support means the world to us, so please hit that subscribe button. It's a small gesture that goes a long way. Stay with us throughout the entire video, as every part has been carefully crafted to guide you toward a more fulfilling and stoic way of living. 1. Self-improvement In our quest for happiness and fulfillment, it's easy to fall into the trap of seeking external validation. We often measure our worth by the reactions, opinions, and attention we receive from others, especially in personal relationships. But what if I told you there's a more empowering, enduring path to happiness. The Stoic path teaches us to focus on what's within our control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, while accepting what we cannot control, including the feelings and behaviors of others. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent or emotionless. Rather, it's about recognizing that true contentment and self-worth come from within, not from someone else's approval or attention. When we hinge our happiness on being missed or desired by someone, we give away our power. We become reactive to their actions or lack thereof, leading to a roller coaster of emotions. Stoicism offers us the tools to step off this ride. By cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation, we build a strong, resilient character that finds joy in self-growth and personal achievements. This doesn't mean we should isolate ourselves or stop caring about others. Stoicism doesn't advocate for emotional detachment, but for emotional resilience. It encourages us to form healthy, meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and understanding, not on neediness or dependency. Moreover, by prioritizing self-improvement, we naturally become more intriguing and attractive to others. People are drawn to individuals who are confident, passionate about their pursuits, and content with themselves. So ironically, the less we focus on making someone miss us, the more likely it is to happen because we're living our best, most authentic lives. Let's start shifting our focus from seeking validation to nurturing our inner world. Let's invest time in learning new skills, exploring new hobbies, and deepening our understanding of who we are and what we stand for. This journey of self-improvement is not only fulfilling in itself, but also makes us more admirable and, yes, missable in the eyes of others. Remember, the goal of Stoicism is not to suppress our desires or deny our need for connections, but to remind us that our happiness and worth are not dependent on them. By anchoring ourselves in the principles of Stoicism, we can enjoy a life of peace, satisfaction, and true independence. So let's embrace the Stoic way, focusing on self-improvement and finding joy within ourselves, because that's where true happiness lies. 2. Independence and Emotional Resilience At the heart of Stoicism is the understanding that our reactions to external events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. This principle is incredibly empowering. It means that we hold the key to our emotional state, granting us a level of independence that's liberating. Emotional resilience, according to Stoicism, 
isn't about numbing ourselves to feelings or detaching from the world around us. Instead, it's about acknowledging our emotions, understanding them, and deciding not to let them dictate our actions. The Stoics believed in focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. This isn't just a strategy for personal peace. It's a roadmap to emotional resilience. When we stop allowing external factors like the actions of others or societal pressures to influence our well-being, we cultivate a sense of independence that's both profound and practical. This independence doesn't mean isolation. On the contrary, it enables us to engage with the world from a place of strength and self-assurance. Consider the concept of emotional resilience in the context of relationships. Stoicism teaches us that while we can love and care for others, our happiness shouldn't hinge on their presence or approval. This perspective encourages us to build relationships on the foundation of mutual respect and genuine connection rather than dependency or fear of loneliness. By fostering emotional resilience, we become capable of enjoying deep, meaningful relationships without losing ourselves in them. Furthermore, Stoicism's emphasis on living according to nature, accepting life's ebb and flow, reinforces our emotional resilience. It reminds us that change is the only constant and that our ability to adapt to this change is a measure of our strength. This adaptability doesn't come from a place of passivity, but from active engagement with our values, goals, and the pursuit of virtue. So how do we cultivate this independence and emotional resilience? It starts with self-awareness, regularly reflecting on our thoughts, emotions, and responses to life's challenges. It involves practicing gratitude, focusing on the present moment, and engaging in activities that align with our core values. Crucially, it requires us to challenge our perceptions, asking ourselves whether our emotional responses are based on current realities or outdated beliefs. In embracing Stoicism, we learn to navigate life's storms, not by seeking shelter in others, but by becoming our own lighthouse. This journey toward independence and emotional resilience is not a solitary one. It's enriched by the wisdom of those who have walked this path before us. As we incorporate Stoic principles into our lives, we find that our capacity for joy, our strength in adversity, and our ability to maintain balanced relationships all grow exponentially. 3. Creating a Meaningful Life The Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus often spoke about the importance of living a life aligned with one's own nature and the nature of the universe. This, at its core, is about recognizing what truly matters in life and dedicating ourselves to it. For the Stoics, meaning is found not in external successes or the accumulation of wealth and accolades, but in the cultivation of virtue, wisdom, and integrity. It's about contributing to the common good, engaging in the community, and developing relationships based on respect and understanding. Creating a meaningful life involves a deep dive into our inner selves, asking hard questions about who we are and what we stand for. It requires us to identify our values and live by them, even when faced with challenges or when it would be easier to simply go with the flow of societal expectations. Stoicism offers a compass in this introspection, urging us to consider not just our actions but the intentions behind them. Are we acting out of virtue, or are we motivated by a desire for external validation? Moreover, Stoicism teaches us about the impermanence of external conditions and the importance of focusing on what remains within our control. This perspective is liberating. It frees us from the tyranny of trying to control the uncontrollable and directs our energies toward where we can truly make a difference, our own attitudes, choices, and responses to the world around us. In this way, creating a meaningful life is less about what we achieve and more about how we live and the mindset with which we approach our days. Embracing a stoic approach to life also means accepting that suffering and setbacks are natural parts of the human experience. Instead of perceiving them as obstacles to our happiness, we can view them as opportunities for growth, resilience, and a deeper understanding of the complexities of life. This doesn't mean we seek out suffering, but rather that we find meaning in overcoming it, learning from it, and moving forward with a strengthened spirit and a more compassionate heart. In practice, 
Creating a meaningful life involves small daily acts as much as it does grand gestures. It's found in the kindness we show to others, the integrity with which we conduct our work, and the passion we bring to our pursuits. It's in the moments we take to reflect on our place in the universe, to appreciate nature, to engage in acts of self-care, and to foster connections with others. These acts, grounded in stoic principles, weave together to form the tapestry of a life well-lived. Let's remember, the stoic journey toward a meaningful life is not a solitary endeavor. It's a path we walk together, supporting each other through shared wisdom and experiences. By anchoring our lives in stoicism, we equip ourselves with the tools not just to face life's challenges, but to thrive amidst them, finding joy, purpose, and meaning in every step of the journey. 4. Letting go of desire for control. The Stoics recognized early on that much of our frustration, anxiety, and even despair stems from our insistence on controlling the uncontrollable. We often expend tremendous energy trying to shape circumstances, outcomes, and even other people to our will, only to find that much of it is beyond our reach. This realization isn't meant to dishearten us. Instead, it's intended to free us from self-imposed chains that bind us to unattainable expectations. Embracing Stoicism's guidance on relinquishing the desire for control doesn't mean we become passive observers of our own lives. Rather, it's about focusing our efforts on the arena where we can indeed make a difference, our internal world. It's in the realm of our perceptions, decisions, and reactions that we hold genuine sway. Here, we can cultivate virtues like patience, understanding, and resilience. Here, we can find peace. Letting go of control, according to Stoic philosophy, involves a deep acceptance of the natural flow of events. It's about understanding the difference between our efforts and their outcomes, recognizing that while we can strive to influence the former, the latter often falls outside our direct influence. This doesn't negate the value of effort. It merely places it in a healthier perspective. When we align our actions with our values and detach from specific outcomes, we engage with life more wholly and authentically. Moreover, this Stoic teaching encourages us to view each moment as an opportunity to practice acceptance and grow in wisdom. It invites us to question our deep-seated beliefs about control, success, and security. In doing so, we often discover that our true strength lies not in exerting control over the external world, but in mastering our inner landscape. In practical terms, letting go of the desire for control means embracing flexibility and adaptability. It means being open to the unexpected, finding the courage to face uncertainties with a calm mind and an open heart. It's about learning to respond to life's challenges with grace, viewing them as opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. As we incorporate this stoic principle into our lives, we find that our relationships deepen, our stress levels decrease, and our appreciation for the present moment increases. We begin to understand that control is not the key to happiness. Balance, acceptance, and inner harmony are. Letting go of our desire for control, as taught by Stoicism, is not about relinquishing our power, but rather about reclaiming it in its most potent form. It's a journey toward inner freedom, marked by a profound transformation in how we perceive and interact with the world. As we embark on this journey, we uncover a life marked not by the external validation of control, but by the internal validation of peace, resilience, and a deep, abiding sense of purpose. Conclusion as we wrap up our exploration of Stoicism and its profound teachings, it's clear that this ancient philosophy offers more than just a set of principles. It presents a way of living deeply rooted in wisdom, resilience, and peace. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what truly matters, guiding us through the ebb and flow of life with grace and composure. The exercises and practices we've discussed are not just abstract concepts, but practical tools that can be woven into the fabric of our daily lives, transforming challenges into opportunities for growth and deeper understanding.